Welcome back everyone. I wanted to hurry up and throw up another video while I still had time to throw up a video. With this video I'm going to show you guys some iOS 8 tweaks. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to show you guys some iOS 8 repos that may benefit you in Cydia. So we're going to go into Cydia and I'm going to show you guys some of the repos that I use so you could maybe install them if they feel to fit you. The first one we're going to go over is CydiaiPhoneCake.com now with this, it actually allows you to add a secondary app store that allows you to install apps. Some are paid, some are free. It does take a little bit longer to install or download, but once you get to download them and you go ahead and install it, it's pretty fast from there. And we're going to go back and here's Bite Your Apple repo, which is repo.biteyourapple. Dot net. This is actually one of my favorite repos because there's a lot of tweaks on here and a huge variety. Now before you install a tweak, you want to make sure that it's compatible with iOS 8 before you install it. Along with that, you want to make sure you have the latest and greatest and that's what I like about By Your Apple. They're always updating to whatever's the recent so you really don't have to worry about getting an outdated tweak and I don't know. I don't don't remember if this one comes in, but this is a pretty good one to have to app store because you need Cirques, but I'm pretty sure it comes with it. The next one we'll go over is RepoInsanely.com, which is like app cake, and same thing. Everyone kind of updates their tweaks differently. Some have a more of a variety. Some have less. It depends on what you're looking for. And for the next one will be Simple iPhone repo.com again this is just like app cake and you know a lot of similar and a lot of different tweaks depending on what you're looking for now for the last one will be sidiaxlize.com this is a real old repo that a lot of people use and I'm kind of annoyed with the repo because a lot of the times that I open up any of the tweaks or try to read what the what is this tweak about you get a lot of redirects and on top of that, it actually tries to open up in the App Store. Or you can't back out of it because it's constantly trying to redirect the whole time. So it's at your discretion to want to install Excelize and see if that's good for you. If not, I mean, I really don't recommend installing it because with Sinful and Insanely and Bite Your Apple, you kind of get a the best of the bang of what XLI should have been, and I don't know why they're doing all this. I guess they're trying to have the redirects to make revenue, which is not a bad thing, but you're you're handing out stolen tweaks that were paid for, and then it's now you want to get paid for people going to your site so or using your repo. So for the next thing we're going to do for the next video, I'll go over some of the tweaks that suits me best and we'll see if you actually work them for you and if they're good enough. So that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and always thanks for liking. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm not like most of the YouTubers that are like, you know, hey, subscribe to my channel, share, whatever. I do this for fun. This is spare time stuff and it's it's... A discretion of what you want to do so uh, again always thanks for watching i really appreciate all my fans viewers and subscribers and hope to see you around again on the next video